It is a warm September 24th, 2024. And uh, here in the greenhouse. And about three weeks ago, I, well, the dogs have been out here and broke over the stem to my, well, they just pulled up the whole root to my elephant here. I'll have to replant that. But a few weeks ago, uh, three weeks ago to be exact, uh, I made a video where I was rooting some cuttings of shiso and I don't remember what all. Let's see, some uh, pink marshmallow and some of the uh, Mexican petunias. And I used the, the water out of the fish pond and I put them in some various pots and glasses and jars that I had here that would hold water. Since then I've added some tomato cuttings and, and marigolds and this and that to this little area. What I've done is I shouldn't make this mistake. It's a it's a very rookie mistake, but I go from day to day from being rookie to extreme rookie. <laughs> and uh, you should change the water out on your rooted cuttings quite often. I mean, every day is not going to hurt. Uh, you know, every couple days or whatever. I, I don't know that I've changed any of this water out in three weeks. Some of that water was so anaerobic and rotten and nasty and the stems of my plants I don't know if you can see some of my throat on the ground here just become part of the mulchy floor uh, had actually rotted in the water and uh, they man it stunk stunk like sewer so I washed them out and put some more water I did fish water again it's got a lot of good minerals and vitamins and whatever you want to call in there fish waste and is actually good for the plants however it does need to be changed up probably even more often than the uh that'd probably be good to change it every day uh so rain water is also good for this just good clean rain water you collect in buckets or whatever uh some of this stuff has started putting out some roots small roots and some of it, like I said, rotted. Some of it hadn't started rooting yet, and it should have. So, just the real, real truth about what goes on. However, the star of the show today is uh, Mexican petunia. Now you can see the jar. The water's kind of nasty looking, and it's almost gone. But I pulled them out. <laughs> Look at this. That's... Some good rooting and you can even see further up where the little white things are the little white bumps them are actually root nodes that had started in fact look there's a if i can get get it a picture of it here uh where is it at again right there it's that little thing pointing down out of that joint there's a leaf pointing up and that's a root coming out pointing down so as the water went down, the main thing that stayed in contact was the very bottom, and that's what rooted. So I'll be putting these in some pots today after I untangle them. Or some grow bags or something to take to a plant swap coming up soon that we have. And one of these things, I, remember, I, if you watch that video, I cut back the leaves... And you can see they're already growing new leaves. I cut off all flower buds. And this one is actually already flowered. <laughs> Very resilient. I love the Mexican petunias. They do. Uh, they can expand and, and kind of get a little bit invasive. Uh, the clump will grow bigger and bigger every year if you don't dig some of it out. Uh, some areas, that's not a bad thing. In some areas, you would want to kind of control it. But every one of these, every one of them, I didn't pull not one dead one out, every one of them rooted. What I'll probably do is take some more cuttings today and get them going, and I'll get these potted up. And uh, so anyway, just wanted to show that. Very cool. You have failures, and they wind up on the floor. <laughs> you have slow goes, they get another chance. And so that's just the way it is. 
Hope you like that. It's a miracle to me. I mean, every time I do it, it's a, you know, it's just, it amazes me. God bless.